all keeping well. Today I'm going to share a little bait fish pattern or a streamer with, with you and it's a, it's a little little pattern I've been using for a long time now probably probably seven or eight years since I, I first tied it and it's a, it's a really good pattern it's 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 prob it's it is the only kind of streamer or, or bait fish pattern I use I, I primarily fish dry flies but on the days where I you know I want to change it up and fancy a bit of sport on kind of you know um basically streamer patterns or, or, or this kind of fishing um, I, I'll put on this little uh, bait fish pattern in. The, the pattern I'm going to tie today it's it's a representation or an imitation of a, of a minnow what we call a minnow and in Irish waters and UK waters fresh water fresh uh, fresh rivers um, fresh water rivers basically we'd have um, no shortage of, of these little bait fish called minnow and the trout and pike absolutely love them they go mad for them and uh, you know it, it's a sure bet or it's a sure thing that if you're fishing one of these you're going to catch a, a trout or a pike and um, you know as a young lad we would have uh, when i was very young we would have you know been down in the river with nets fishing for these and we would have put them on the hook and we would have caught no shortage of any any trout or pike with them so you know i i tied up a representation or tied up my own imitation of, of my own kind of kind of style of a minnow um, to represent that little fish and uh, it works quite well and this is what I want to share with you today now I have a full pheasant skin that I uh, I preserved earlier this year back I think in probably January February this year I would have preserved um, this pheasant skin the video is actually up on YouTube for, um, and, and, and I, I what I'll do is I'll attach the link to this video, preserve or skinning and preserving this this pheasant. I'll attach the link to it um, in the description. But the feathers I'm going to primarily use today. There's only two feathers off this this pheasant uh, skin that I want, and um, like it's preserved quite well, as you can see, um, and will continue to last. But there's there's um. There is only two feathers I'm going to use to tie this this uh, this fly or this streamer or this minnow pattern today, and basically it's these feathers here. So this is the rump, okay. And as if if you watch my my video on on harvesting feathers from from a pheasant, um, you know you're coming down off the church windows up here, um, coming down the lower back, and you're coming on to the lower down to into you're coming into the kind of lower shoulder area into the lower back. It's the lower back area, what we want, just where the tail would sit, just above the tail. And it's this patch here, okay? And we call these rump feathers. And these are really, really good for tying um, streamer patterns and stuff. Really, really good. They're a nice, soft uh, pattern. You, you could even tie, kind of, you could use them for soft hackles as well, um, the smaller ones. So the further you come down, the bigger they get, okay? And the further you go up, the smaller the feathers, the smaller they are. But all these feathers are really good for soft hackle um, flies and uh, they, they, they give really good movement to them and that's that's what I, I want to I want to utilize these feathers here today because these give great movement under the water and they really do um, they really do attract fish now the other feather I'm going to use is basically it's it's in amongst these and probably the best way to find it is if we if we lift the lewing and we come to the leg Actually, the leg would be the best place. So we have these kind of, uh, you, see, you can see them there, these wifty, kind of wafty, kind of marabou style feathers here. And I'll pull one out for you. Quite soft, but you can see it there. And has all that, you can see there, it's very marabou lifelike, it's, or lookalike. It's, 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 it's a great, it'd be a great, uh, you know, be a great alternative to using marabou, these feathers. But it's great movement in these as well when they're wet. And these are really good. So this is the second feather from the, 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 the skin I'm going to use today. And again, um, like so, so we're going to have the rump. Which I've pulled one out here. Okay, so we've got the rump feather. And we've got the marabou feather. And they're the two feathers we're going to use today. So, like I said, the rump is here so all here so all these feathers here is for the rump feathers and then we've got on each leg is probably the best place but you, the, the marabou feathers go out throughout the bird the lower part of the bird so the legs under the rump feathers here and just up under the wings you're going to get all the marabou feathers there you can see them all there 
So there's a good lot on it. Um, you can see them all there, all the marabou feathers. But these are the, the primarily the two feathers we're going to use, the marabou and the rump. So in the vise I have a mustard streamer hook, it's a size 8. And I've got um, I've got stone faux streamer fish heads um, attached to the fixed to the the hook. I've actually got it secured. So what I actually did, and you can actually see it there, I've put a little wrap of lead just underneath it. I slid it on, and then what I done just in it, I am um, basically using um, using resin and my pen. I just secure that in place, just stop any movement, just on it, and just, just secure the lead and all in place there. That's, the, that's how, generally how I like to secure my lead, um, instead of wrapping I just put a little bit of um, resin on it, holds in place. And when we're finished, we'll put the eyes on. Um, so I'm going to use my Kevlar silk for this, and generally I would just come down, just wrap down, Put a little bit on. Stop where the hook starts to curve, and we will trim away the waist. Now I'm going to pull off two rum feathers. So two rum feathers from the from the tail of the bird. So you'll have basically these two feathers. And what I'm going to do is I don't want all this fluffy stuff on the bottom so where that fluff stuff where that fluff is we're going to strip them there just like that so and that leaves us with basically the good fight the good fibers on that feather on that feather which we'll the rest the rest away is waste and we're going to do the same with the second feather so we've got the second one here you can see it and we're just going to pull away all the fluff all that down on the on, on the feathers we don't want and it's going to leave us basically with that there. So, if you put that together. And that's basically, so what I'm going to do then is, I'm going to use these in my tail. So, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to basically, you can see that there, just holding it in place. I'm going to tie it in from there. So, the first one in first, just on the side. I'm going to tie it in, just like that. Then I'm going to come down, I'll trim away this, this little, we'll trim away the stalk first, just so it's not in the way. And make sure it's well secured in. And then I'm going to come back down to the base. I'm going to get my second feather on the other side, just push it together. Just hold it in up here by the stalk, use the stalk where you trimmed. Or you've pulled away all the waste um, down and stuff to hold it in place and then just again just wrap and just have them nice and even and on the other side then you just want to basically just to secure that in place it will it will roll around a bit but it's fine and then we're going to trim that away There you'll have your your basically your tail feathers. Or your your that's your tail basically tied in. You can see it just nice how it'll I'll I'll show when I'm finished I'll I'll take it out of the vice and we'll 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 show you how streamlined it is when it's when it's wet and stuff. It's it's really, it's really good. These are really good feathers. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some crystal flash. And I've got some here. And this is a crystal flash. Basically, um, this brand is Piscari Fly. You can check them out online. It's a great place to buy fly tying stuff. But um, I love this, this stuff here. And I'm going to add a bit of flash and sparkle to the tail. So I'm just going to take, take a good strand. Just put out a good strand. Um, basically, you'll have a good length. Have a nice and even. Just take all the, so I'll kind of just tie it up and stuff. So that's the crystal flash. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
just make sure it's nice and even same length on both sides I don't want near enough the same length and I'm going to come up and I'm going to tie in two on one side so just on one side of the tail tie in two and then I'm going to come up to the other side and I'm going to tie in another two At the length of the tail, I'm just going to trim them there. So you can see that then. So, so you have a little bit of crystal flash just coming out. Now I'm going to take a marabou. So we've got a marabou here now, and you can see the wifty and wavy feathers of the marabou. And I am going to basically tie it in from the tip. Just tying it in like that. Pull it back. Just make sure that's nice and secured in place. And what we're going to do is just wrap it the body. like that we can hold it there and we can come up and just secure that in place so just a couple of tight wraps and trim that away I'm going to take another rump feather, so we'll put another rump feather off the board here. Down near the bottom of the tail. So, another rump feather. Strip away the, the down. And I'm going to tie this in basically by the feather, the tips as well. And again, just kind of just pull pull out the feathers. Oh, so they're slipping on me there. Just and then just. You know, just wrap that then, so just grabbing the feathers just grabbing them and then just up and down coming in and secure that just want to hold it down just get it wrapped there just to secure that and we can pull that up put that away So we can just put any stray feathers, any stray fibers, and just pull them in, line them up, just nice and secure, nice, just nice and civilized, just tidy it all up a small bit. Just bring the feathers back into, or the fibers back into, into, into shape. 
we we'll grab another marabou feather. So I've another one. These are ones I've just pre-pulled off just before we're starting. But like I showed you there, just just pull them off from the. These are just from the leg kind of leg area of it. And again, I'm gonna just tie that in there. Just come up, and I'm going to again just wrap it. So. Grabbing the fibers as you wrap. Just grabbing the fibers and secure that in place there. So you can see you're starting to get your your effect there. So again, I'm going to grab another um, uh, another rump feather now. Um, so again, we'll come back down towards where the tail is and the rump feathers. And again, you'll have your rump feather. So this is the part we want up here. We want to want this part. So we're going to strip the 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 down basically away. So pulling all that down away. And what we're left with is little rump feather like that and again just pull back strip the fibers back just strip the fibers back don't worry about them be messy because we're gonna we're gonna fix that in place when and we'll we'll be wrapping it around and then just again just uh secure that in place there the camera there sorry and come back down I want to pull that out there so we go again if it pulls out don't worry it's not the end of the world just go again just re-secured just wrap it back in and what we'll do then is we begin to wrap again so grabbing the fibers so just grabbing the fibers just begin to wrap Just like that. So just hold it not there then. Just come up and give a couple of tight and just secure that feather in there and that basically the stalk of that feather and you can trim that away. And be careful not to cut your be careful not to cut your uh, tread. a little bit of a stalk there that I want to get perfect so now I want to tie in a bit more crystal flash here I just want to add a bit more to it so the the crystal flash I used previously so I've still got it here so again I'm going to double it up just doubling it up just until the ends are roughly the same length and again, just going to put on this end here on the side. And I'm just going to tie it in there. Just like that. So you can see that there. So you've got your crystal flash there then. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over the top. Just like that. And secure that in place then. On, this, on the other side. So, and what we do then is we'll just cut that. So then I've got my crystal flash, as you can see, just on the other side as well, and I've got it there. It's just to add a little bit of flash to the to the to the, the fly or to the fish. Now I'm going to come in. 
before I do any more with this, I, I'm gonna, I want to add a little white belly to it because if you look at the, the characteristics of the minnow, it's got a little white belly. It's essentially a bait fish. So I'm going to use for this, I am going to use its uh, calf's tail. And it's white. And this is it here. So I'm going to use the white part of it here. So I'm just going to trim off a small amount of it. Just not too much now, but you just need a small little amount of it. So what I've got is about that there. And I'm just going to hold it, pinch it tight, and just under the head, just under the head of the fly, I'm going to give really tight wraps. And we'll trim it all up then and we'll make it all proper. And that's basically just any loose stuff there that's that's in it there just you can basically um just pull it loose but then you have your basically have your white belly on the fly so as you can see there what we'll do then is we'll trim away this actually what I'll do is I'll just bring it forward Bring it back, just pull all them fibres out of the way. I don't want them fibres getting caught in the belly part of it, so just pull them out of the way and we'll just tidy up that there by, by just like that. Now we can even out the belly you now in, in a few minutes there. It's the way it's sitting in the vise there but and that's it so again I'm going to grab another rump feather now and I'm going to do the same again with a, with a rump feather so another rump feather and we're just going to strip the stripping the waist stripping the, the down off it pulling the back from the tip going to secure it in here and pulling them out today, I don't know why it's always easy to do when you're not on camera so and then just Pull the fiber forward. Just like that. And then lastly, I'm going to use another marabou feather, but this one I'm just going to use, wrap it like for like dubbing. So again, I'll just tie it in. I'm not going to. I don't want this one to be wifty and wafty around. Um, so I'm just going to tie that in, and I'm just going to wrap just at the head. So just like that. Trim that away. So you can see that there. Now when that's wet, that will have some movement in it. Now we'll just again last little bit of crystal flash before I finish it. 
and for this one I'm using a, a red crystal flash so I want to give the impression of gills so what we're going to do is I'm going to cut a small amount because I don't want this too long so cut a nice small little amount there and what I'm going to do is again then it's going to double it up just like so so I've doubled it up like that and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and just probably about probably about that length as you can see there that's all I want probably about that length just hold that there I'll just tie that in catching there sorry now just catching there the head just need to pull the head loosen the head out again there that's it try that stock and then I'm going to come back over onto the other side and do the same and we'll just trim that away so it's just nice and short and it's after coming out me there so we'll just double it up again and secure that in place Perfect. Now, I just have, oops, dropping everything out, I just have, which I didn't get it out before I started playing, I have some um, I have some green, kind of a greeny, kind of a, if you see it there, it's kind of a, a flash, bit of a dubbing. And all I'm going to do is take a few strands of it, a pinch of it, and I'm going to dub it on to the Kevlar, just like that. I'm going to pull all the flash back, a little bit more, take a little bit more. Just dub it on. Doesn't have to be tight. Just I'll just put a small bit more onto it there, just It doesn't have to be this colour, it can be any colour, you know, a brown or it can be kind of a peacock or it can, you know, it doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be the green, but it's just, it's just what I do use. Um, so, the head is after turning on me a small bit, but not to worry, that is fine. Nope. Basically pushing it back. Okay, perfect. So just wrap it. A couple of tight wraps, just in around where you've put that dubbing and stuff there, that uh, crystal flash. Just want to grab my uh, whip finishing tool. Just give it a couple of tight wraps across behind the head. It won't come undone because the head will protect it. So it will. Um, so I just had to, re I just had to just resecure that head in place. There it came a bit undone on me, but it's fine now. Um, so then, last step then is to just take two little eyes. As you can 
can see here. Let me just stick that eye there, as you can see. I'm going to come in. So I just want to just turn this this way. Just take this eye and put it in place there. And they won't come off. And there you have it. Um, this is a really, really good um, pattern there. And I just get my little tweezers and I will show you basically. I'll show you the fly, not the fish. So I just I just wet it properly there, just just went off camera there just to wet it properly. But um when that's in the water there as you can see it has loads of movement and when it's wet it's basically looking like that there. It's 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 really good little pattern. Um little bay fish pattern. And like I said, it's it's just the marabou feathers and the the rump feathers of the pheasant there just really give it just sensational movement in the water and as part, uh, along with that crystal flash I know it's, it's wet there now but, but when that's in the water it gives off a perfect little bay fish pattern and with that crystal flash and stuff there a little in tractor it, it's just really good um, it's a really good little bay pattern and it's 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 one of my it's basically the only streamer pattern I would use it's the only streamer pattern I would tie up um, and, and fish but it's it's just it's really good little pattern um, so look, that's that's basically it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that, and I hope you, uh, you know, give it a go, try it, tie it, and uh, see how you get on. It's um, it's 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 a very good little pattern to use, like I said. And if you know if you're if you've got bay fish in in a river, um, then you know certainly put this on and tie it up, put on, and give it a go. Um, it it will definitely uh, definitely catch a fish. And like I said, it, it's just. Primarily using just pheasant feathers. It's it's a great way, a great little bay fish, and very very easy, you know, to, to get a hand, get a hold of um, pheasant feathers, and produces a great little bait fish. And when that's like I said, that is in the water, that has sensational movement. Um, fish will just hammer that all day long. So give it a go. Um, I hope you enjoy tying this fly, and I like, like I, said, I hope you enjoy watching it. Um, little bit of a struggle on this one because it didn't go to plan, but. Uh, that's essentially the finished pattern and that's what I end up with, that's what I put in the hook. So I've just ran that under the tap just to show you what it's like when it's wet and how streamlined it is and you know, great little pattern. Um, like I said, it's the only little pattern I would use for uh, for streaming fishing, basically. So, thanks for watching everyone. All the best.